Today we're going to talk about a simple, easy, and free way to find topics to write about so you can build topical authority for your blog or website so you can make money online in 2023. Now, the main thing to consider these days with search engine optimization and getting websites to rank in Google is the concept of topical authority. Topical authority basically is how Google views you or your website in relation to the other websites that exist out there on the same topic or in the same niche and looking at you know, which websites have covered the widest base of content related to this topic, which websites have covered it with unique content, not simply copy and pasting what other people say. And it, it makes sense, you know, if Google wants to provide the best search results for people searching on Google, then they want to make sure that the websites that they're ranking are providing knowledgeable, good quality content. Um, and the best way to show that you're knowledgeable about a subject is to write articles that cover every possible subtopic of the main topic that your website is built around. But one of the challenging things with regards to making content is coming up with the ideas. So in this video, we're going to talk about the simple, easy and free way to come up with these ideas. So you can start building out some content, building these little, you know, little articles, planting seeds, basically, that eventually can grow into something that will build your topical authority. And once you have that authority, then you can go after the competitive high search volume keywords that are going to bring you a lot of money. So what we're going to do here is we're going to hop into Google. So say our topic for our website is cats. So let's type in cats. And if we come down to people also ask, you know, obviously, you know, what people also ask is if you've been doing a lot of search engine optimization stuff, but if you haven't, this is going to come up oftentimes when you search for something and basically whatever the main topic that you're searching, it will come up and give you some questions that people ask related to that topic. So you can come in here, look at this list and see, okay, here's a question people ask. Can I write an article about that? Yes. Is it related to my main topic? Yes. Perfect. All right. So we'll take that down and you can go through the list and see, you know, what are things that people are asking? This can give you ideas to make content, but this is only four, four options. So do we have to go up here and then type in something else to search like, you know, uh, cat food or whatever? I, apparently I can't spell cat food. Well, no, we don't really have to do that because all we have to do is come down here, go to this arrow here on the last box in this people also ask section, click it, close it. And now you have a couple more and then we can go click it, close it. Now we have a few more. And you can keep doing this and get a whole bunch of results to where you have, you know, dozens and dozens of these in a matter of one minute, you can come up with, you know, content for 12 different articles. Now, as you go through this, you will find that some of these are going to be related. Some of them won't be related. Like clearly, you know, these are about cats and these are about some other topics that I don't think we want to get into. So <laughs> we're going to focus on the topics that are related to our main topic. And then we can look at, you know, which of these are going to be somewhat related to each other. So all of these are related to our main topic of, of cat or cats, but then within this list, and if you keep generating, you know, you keep searching, going to people also ask, and then opening these up to get you more results, you're going to find that some of them are related. So for example, can cats truly love, do cats love their owners, you know, and you could probably do a search term related to that and get even more on that subject. So let's try it. Can cats truly love that one's a little weird uh, I think we'll move on from that one but uh, <laughs> so say you have all these well now what you can do is open up a Google sheet copy all of these paste it into your Google sheet open up different tabs of that Google sheet and start to combine the the topics that are very similar to one another and that can give you ideas for building out different headings or different sections of an article so say you want to make a make an article related to do cats feel love or do cats love their owners or something like that then you can have you know do cats know you love them do cats love their owners uh, does a cat trust you if it sleeps next to you you can decide for you whether Maybe does a cat trust you if it sleeps next to you? Maybe that would be better in a separate article. Whereas the ones that are most directly related to do cats love you would be good for uh, combining into one article. So if you paste all these into a Google sheet, have different tabs of the Google sheet that are targeted at different subtopics of your main topic, then you can start building out a list of the things that you want to target and then go about writing articles for them. You could either write one article about this and have that be the main prompt, or like I said, combine different people also ask questions to make up different segments of that article. 
Now, the other thing you can do, which does cost money, is you could then take these people also ask questions that you have and plug them into a keyword tool like SE Ranker or Ahrefs or SEM Rush or whichever one you use. Um, you're probably not going to see much as far as keyword search volume on these. That doesn't mean that nobody is actually searching for them. It just means that, you know, whatever data source that platform or that product software that you're using uses to generate their search volume numbers, you know, it's, it's not necessarily always going to be accurate. But what you can get with those is maybe an idea of, you know, what is the competition like for Do Cats Love? You know, you plug it into SE Ranker, look at the competition score, see if it's something you think you can rank for. Or you can open it up, click, you know, open up the SERP results, so the search engine results page. There's a, a list in SE Ranking when you click on the little sidebar next to a keyword that you're doing when you're in the keyword research tab. You can click the SERP results and it'll show you the pages that rank. And if you open that up and you see, okay, we have a bunch of huge websites ranking for this, probably not gonna rank for it. That doesn't mean you shouldn't make the article because you need to build a bunch of articles out to build your topical authority so eventually you can rank. But if you are trying to hit some low hanging fruit that you think you can rank for with a website that hasn't built up its authority yet, then you can use those SERP results, whether by simply searching it in Google, looking at the results or using it in a, a keyword tool and looking at the SERPs. Uh, that can tell you whether or not you think you can rank for it because the competition score is one thing that's based on whatever the algorithm is of the keyword tool you're using. But when you look at the search engine results page, which is basically just, you know, this, this these are the SERPs, the search engine results on this page. Um, you know, if you look something up and you see, I don't know, a bunch of Reddit results or a bunch of forum results or a bunch of Quora questions, that's a sign that you could probably rank for that keyword pretty easily because there aren't many websites dedicated to that topic that have covered that question. So just to recap, if you want to find topics to write about to build your topical authority, we search for something in here like, you know, cat food. We go down to people also ask, we expand it so we get more results, right? Then we take these, we copy them, we post them into Google Sheets. Once we're in Google Sheets, we're going to make silos or little, you know, subcategories of our main category where questions are related to each other. So then we can start building out articles that cover, you know, a few of the different questions related to that subtopic. Post that. Then we go on, all right, on to the next one. Make another article, post that. You start interlinking between these articles on your website. And if you do that, if you, over the course of a year, you're able to post 100 or 200 articles covering all of these questions that people ask about your main topic or your niche, then that's gonna build your topical authority. And once you have that topical authority, you can then go after stuff like best cat food and start ranking up here along with the big dogs. So hopefully this helps you give you an idea of how you can find you know, some low hanging fruit, find some long tail keywords to write about so that way you can start building topical authority and improve your ability to rank in Google in 2023 so you can make money online with your website. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys next time. I'm out.